The year 2020 was a time of intense racial turmoil in the United States, resulting from the murder of George Floyd on May 25th. A young girl took a video of the murder, and it played over and over on televisions across the nation. Citizens saw, with little ability to deny the crime, police officer Derek Chauvin kneel on Floyd's neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds until he was dead. They heard Floyd say he could not breathe and call out for his mother. This murder came on the heels of many others, including those of Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile, and Alton Sterling. People of all racial and ethnic backgrounds across all age groups took to the streets, coming out of their homes during the COVID-19 pandemic, angered by the presidency of Donald J. Trump and his indifference to and stoking of racial injustice. During this turmoil, African-American students, craving supportive learning environments that embrace them, began enrolling at historically Black colleges and universities at higher rates. Many African-American parents, who in the past may have encouraged their children to attend predominantly white institutions, PWIs, began to push their children to consider HBCUs. At the same time, after a contested and traumatic presidential race, the nation elected Joseph R. Biden as president and Kamala Harris, a proud Howard University graduate, as the vice president of the United States, making her the first black, South Asian woman and HBCU graduate to hold the position. During her nomination acceptance speech at the 2020 Democratic National Convention, Harris highlighted her attendance at Howard and introduced people with little knowledge of them to HBCUs. Likewise, as the contested presidential election between President Donald Trump and Senator Joe Biden came to a head, one name was on the minds of members of the media, politicians, and even ordinary people. Stacey Abrams, the Spelman College graduate who lost the 2018 Georgia governor's race by 54,723 votes, and as a result, started the voting rights nonprofit organization, Fair Fight. In addition to interest in her strategy for engaging voters and working to turn the state of Georgia Democratic, or blue, in terms of majority voters, People took notice of her education and the impact that Spelman College had had on her fight for justice and her intellect. Abrams was not shy about crediting the Liberal Arts College for Black Women in Atlanta, Georgia, for contributing to her success. With Abrams's help, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won the presidency. And Morehouse College graduate Raphael Warnock, along with John Ossoff, a protege of U.S. Representative John Lewis, joined the U.S. Senate. 